and I am here with Row Club. I have Andre. So Andre, Row Club seems extremely different than some of the other things we've kind of looked at when it comes to remote scanning. Tell us a little bit about Row Club. Yeah, so thanks for having me, first of all. Um, of so we make the, the long way from, from Germany here to, to the RSNA. Um, yeah, so what is Row Club about? Row Club is tackling the, the challenge that we have with this uh, stuff shortage around uh, technologists um, that you have around the world. Right. Um, and we developed a tele teleoperation platform that means that you can remotely connect to any medical technical device, um, MRI, CTs, but also many other medical technology um, um, devices wow. where you can do multiple use cases. So you can um, make simply remote viewing, you can use it for remote education, remote support, but also for remote controlling. That right. means that you can run uh, equipment um, an examination, for example, an MRI scan, right. being located at any point of the world. Any mainly. point yeah. of the world. So you're yeah. saying is, any vendor, any modality, just about. This and is, you can do it from the web. This is true. This is true. It's completely cloud-based. Um, wow. So this is here the little baby baby that needs to be connected nice. um, to any medical technology. But you are right. It's completely multi-vendor. So all vendors um, can be connected. It's multi-modality. MRI, CTs, all the other devices, hey. and it's super easy to install. Oh, so okay. it's unbelievable, but um, yeah, it's super easy to install. And mm -hmm. it's security-wise, everything's through a secure network. Exactly. So you can, it's all bulletproofed, uh, hardened um, nice. to all kinds of security, data protection, etc. Um, we are also not storing any kind of data. Um, so it's just uh, streaming um, oh. uh, of the, the user interface. So we are grabbing the user interface, replicating user interface, and then emulating a second mouse and keyboard. Um, right. And then everything is end-to-end -end encrypted. So if you are from here, for example, um, want to access a, a scanner in Miami, um, right. the interaction is completely end-to-end -end encrypted. Oh, wow. Uh, That's awesome. Now, I, and I know this is one of the things I'm most excited about is your marketplace. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Oh yes. Um, so that's the second piece of the of the of the tech. Yeah. Um, this is the teleoperation platform that you first of all connect any any medical technical device. The second step will be then um, it's a marketplace where we're making a matchmaking between those who have equipment and want to operate equipment but have a staff shortage. Right. And the others that want to um, operate diagnostic imaging devices from remote technicians. Right. And there is a, a classical marketplace where right. we're making the matchmaking between those. Um, and having the possibility to, right. to, to, to run this from, from remote. I really, really like that idea where, you know, you could kind of sign up with you guys and, you know, you get kind of, you know, uh, you know, you have, you have a, what you would call maybe a skill set or something like that. People can like pick you to do a scan type That's of interface, absolutely, right? That's absolutely true. Yeah, right. you see which kind of languages do you speak, which skill set they have, which machines, which kind of examination types, what. What experience do you have? Right. And then you can um, you can select according to this. That's awesome because really you're capitalizing on you know small skill sets, but spreading it out through the whole community. Which exactly. Is nice. So yeah. we know there's places that don't have access to, for example, like maybe someone who does functional MRI or even cardiac MRI, and it you know there's one of those things that if they don't if they don't have it at the location that the patient gets the order, then they have to travel to get it. And we've talked about this so many times on our podcast, so. We love to hear that you guys are making the accessibility so much easier. Exactly, right. exactly. At the end, it's all about accessibility, also for patients to get the right examination at the right point of time and having the people who are doing it with the right qualifications and not, and not to avoid that people have to come a second or third time because the quality is too poor or whatever. Right. Um, right. And this is exactly what we are tackling with that. Uh, I did want to circle technology. back real quick to the technology because most places that, or at least most technologies that we've seen so far, you kind of need something at the scanner side and something at like maybe if you're at home on that side where yes. you're scanning. But you guys just need it at the the, the vendor side, the scanner side. Exactly. There's just a, this little this little piece here, um, which is a completely IoT ready device. That means we can plug it into to any um, to the video stream of the of right. the devices. That's nice. Yeah. Um, that's very nice because it's a world standard. Um, so you can use it for for all the different modalities. You don't need any server infrastructure. You don't need VPN tunnels. Um, it's completely browser-based. Right. And on the other side, right. accessing it from remote, um, that's no special hardware needed, no software to be downloaded, completely browser-based. Right. It's, a, it's a really a cloud solution. Right. It's a na native cloud solution. Well, uh, we really love what you guys are doing. 
Man, is there anything we missed with this? Anything else you wanted to cover? I feel like... No, that's, I think that's exactly so. We have a very strong in Europe on yeah. having, let's say, from university hospitals, large, large diagnostic chains, smaller community practices, etc. So the entire range. And now, um, yeah, moving towards the U.S. Oh, man, that's awesome. We're excited. And honestly, I know the community wants to know more. So where can they kind of reach out or find more information about Rope Up? So I think best is in our, in our website. Uh, yeah. Uh, rowclub.com. Sweet. Check the description yeah. for that for sure. And then we take it from there. And then we are giving, let's say, the the the, the information when we are really starting in the U.S. because we're in the preparation phase now. Right. And sure. and then we kick it off. And and hopefully many many of the technicians will participate then in, yeah. the, in this in this uh, marketplace also. Yeah. That's awesome, Andre. We really appreciate your time and you you, you kicked off our hours today. Really really nice, man. So we really appreciate that. This is Zone Three Podcast. We are out.